Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Um, we got the calipers done. I was able to find this uh, this calipers the the ones belongs to to Mar Two. We put a, a new bracket. Also, what we did here, um, put the new uh brake line because the brake line in here was was no good. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? Somewhere in there. Anyway, also did the other one way back there. So guys, uh, we ditching this. We ditching this uh, Mark 3 GTI wheels. We found uh, those uh, wider ones. I think they are um, 16 by eight. The tires are not in good shape, but this is, uh, what is it? 205, 40, 16. So those are the wheels that we wanna put here. And uh, I'm doing the bolt joints. I'm doing the bolt joints for the front. What? This one doesn't have a greaser. It's weird because this one does. See? Anyways, uh, this one has a greaser too. So I'm doing the outer tie rod, the inner tie rod, and uh, bolt joint. And the front is the the one we we put a uh, new rotors. They are rusted now, but it's been a long time. <laughs> I mean, not a long time, a couple weeks or a month we got a new axle so hopefully this doesn't sticking out too much and we're gonna now we're using the more three or whatever outer tie rod so guys um i want to let you know that where we at on this project i was happy that that thing was done finished on the back so now I'm gonna concentrate on see if we can straight the wheels. So we're replacing the the inner outer tie rods. And we got the other two right here for the other side. So bear with us for me and my son. So we got the other wheel right here. Getting ready. This is the <laughs> this is what I did just for like moving around the house. I have to weld it there and like that's why the I mean, it didn't really work for me. You can see, uh, this is the original. It was pressed in, so I had to cut it on both sides. Kind of weld it there. And uh, just to like move it here, see see what it will do, you know. Look at this kind of wheels, prime. They are old. Let me see if it has the ET. What ET are this? I don't see anything. There's a number there. I don't know. Maybe here. <laughs> you can say, what is this right here? What, is that what it is? Is that the ET number or what? Huh. Max load. I don't know. Sixteen by something. I don't know. Maybe here. I cannot see any ET number, but guys, we're gonna see if we can rock and roll these wheels. They are dirty right now. The tires are gonna need new tires. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. So hopefully, turn out good. So stay tuned, guys. Here's the other um, inner tire rod. So, so yeah, guys, this um, rear um, caliper swap. It was a little bit of a pain. I was able to find the calipers. Uh, I had to buy the whole axle. I mean, we have to buy the whole axle just for the calipers. Just for the calipers. 
they were good i mean the calipers were good it was nice moving um i know that the lines was rusted but it still got the fluid in there so it wasn't dry or something so looks like whoever has it i mean i don't know but i'm gonna be able to pull the spindles out of here and the bracket saving it because this is getting rare what is this book book but yeah we had to go get the whole rear rear axle and i also go ahead and uh get me a fuel tank because i wanted to do the my car uh, uh race car now it's not gonna be a race car so it turned out good i mean we got them now i'm working on the on the front on the front suspension the rear it's done we're probably gonna have to a little bit bleed the the brakes but it's it's done there so i can't wait to like to like keep keep um like drive it see how how it it, it makes it so stay tuned guys stay tuned for for this uh what's going on up there hello God. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's what we got today. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, am I gonna have to um, crank this app? Maybe I don't know if the wheels will fit. Those wheels are 16, so might be. Am I gonna need to crank this up a little? I don't know. And over there, kind of looks like it's. The, the measure is it's okay so we want to see am i gonna have to crank those down a little bit and this one's up we will see stay tuned so apparently um we got the tires right now front and back so it looks like uh we nailed it this time am i gonna like i said am i gonna lower it a little bit on the back so kind of match on the front and uh this way you guys not be able to see but uh it looks like way better so there is um the tire looks uh i mean the the rims looks pretty good so we're gonna go for a, a test ride see how uh performs so stay tuned guys stay tuned and uh you know see if we can fire up and uh wow this has been a journey <laughs> this uh swap but it will be so we're be gonna working. fire up kind of looks uh, nice with those wheels Let's go for a test ride. Let's go for a test ride. Um, oh. So here is the the Mark IV. Uh, what's it called? Mark IV cluster. Pretty cool. I don't know why the light is bugging me but okay so um my son's gonna report how this performed it's cold so we're not gonna we're not gonna uh gun it too much just gonna test right We don't have mirrors. 
wonder if we got air on the tires. 30? I mean, it feels good, the steering. Oh, wow. First time driving this thing. Right here. No, I think we got no we got a 
pump the we gotta we gotta pump the wheels the tires I mean let's check let's check them out Where, where's my phone where's my phone let me um show the let me check the the air you never know oh wow look all the dust okay that one looks good oh no that's Think we didn't went too far but this thing the tires are flat wow so guys we're gonna cut here because we're gonna have to uh go back to the house really slow we pump it the tires but i guess they don't they don't haul the air they don't haul enough air so we're gonna cut it here guys uh stay tuned guess what the tires on the back were holding air pretty good. But on the front, we got flat, both. I know the tires were no good, so we just bump it. We, we were excited, so we just uh, take it. Um, we just want to test drive it like that. My son went to, uh, he went to uh, get the, the, air, uh, the air compressor. So we got this other tire flat as well. I didn't know they will not hold, you know. The two on the back were holding good, just the, the two on the front were flat. But guys, this thing is amazing. Check it out. So my son is gonna come back with the air compressor wow this was so good. it was riding pretty good isn't this um light amazing on the more too it looks nice okay guys stay tuned so there is my son he went uh, he run for the air compressor and he's coming on his bike Got the light on his uh, bike so he's coming fast so hopefully i mean good thing i didn't have to wait too much so what's up oh don't throw the bike why you throw the bike <laughs> oh man <sighs> so you got the air compressor so we're gonna see if we can um We can pump, uh, we have a, a little 12 volt, uh, here it is, 12 volt uh, air compressor. Let's see if this works. Um, you, can, you can bring the light. And now I can get this. And maybe, I think I got light right here. Okay. So you can connect it there. Let me see if, uh, Hopefully this works because I don't know if this uh, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter works. Can I get a little bit more? Okay, there you go. So let's see. I don't know. I don't know if this cigarette lighter will work or not. Sorry guys, I don't have a. You got power? Oh, good. So we got power inside of this cigarette lighter. It might not, it might not pump. Oh man. Is it pumping? Nothing. I don't think it's bumping anything. Nope. No. Nope. That's not bumping anything. That tire is is, is rotted. <laughs> 
So let's try the other one, see if the other one pumps. I mean, at least holds, holds some, uh, some air. Oh, wow, unbelievable, guys. I'm gonna have to just drive the car back home like this. Isn't this amazing? You got the more for um, ringing tone or whatever. No, you can go through here. <sighs> Guys, it's amazing how we, when I started feeling it flat, like once we get into this uh, dirt road, when we get inside here, that's where I start getting, seeing like it was flat. So we went way back there. If this thing doesn't hold, we're gonna be riding back home with no air. The tires were no good anyway. But at least um, I noticed that the tires were not um, pulling sideways. So my uh, red, uh, how you call it, cuello rojo, cuello rojo alignment, work it. <laughs> Is it holding any air? pumping anything I don't think that's gonna work what well hopefully we don't damage the rim because when we ride like this the rim the rims bent so you might gonna have to uh, go with a with a light to tell me So guys, we're gonna wrap it up and we're just gonna go home like that. I'm, I'm not far. Oh wow, we got cars everywhere. So, um, let's, um, let's see if we can make it over there. I mean, we have to, <laughs> we don't have no choice. All right guys, uh, yes, stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> we have a little bit of a problem so 
I drive it like that. It wasn't it wasn't um a long distance. So the tires the tires were were not good anyways. I, I just put them in there. So I, I just just wanted to test the car. And uh I mean it drive I mean so far it drive it good. No problem besides the the tires. The flat tire. But we know the tires were no good. So guys, um that's it for today. Oh my goodness, what is that? Is that a Chinese? Chinese hornet? Oh my goodness. So anyway, anyways guys, uh these are the old tires we were testing. Um we got the transmission there that I need I need to swap into this car. You guys already saw this. I can't wait to, to see what's going on with this car. And guess guess what? We have the VR6. It's back. So it's been uh, nice to see this car, I mean, coming back. So guys, I'm gonna wrap this uh, video. So yeah, guys, um, uh, thank you for watching. I don't know if you can see me because the light is, oh my goodness. Guys, watch this, watch this. Freaking thing is huge. <laughs> but anyways um guys uh thank you for watching and we are almost done with this project we're almost done we're really close uh, now i'm gonna um, since the bumper is hanging i'm gonna see if i can um fix those um clips or whatever on the side so it doesn't fall uh we're gonna need new tires and i got the doors I got the doors um let me see because last time i was showing you guys that this door were uh rusted so um i got all four four doors right now they are in way better shape way better shape no rust they're gonna need clean but guys this is gonna be no rust doors and once uh this guy paint it it will look nice we have this other one right here there's gonna be a 1.80 swap so i stay tuned for this one but guys this car turned out pretty nice. I mean, I like it. I like it. So thank you for watching, guys. And um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Also, want to say um, thank you to everybody that is, uh, has been watching my, my channel. And um, we got, we want to say hi to all the people. Uh, the girls or women that are watching my channel it's amazing that to know you know the girls like you know Volkswagen stuff so wow it's 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 amazing I mean women like Volkswagen too so I mean hey I uh, can't complain or how, how can you say like very good huh thumbs thumbs up uh, subscribe guys subscribe it's um also I guess that's it. We'll wrap it up for today. So stay tuned for the doors. We're going to swap the doors. Um, we're going to fix the, the tires, definitely. And wow, we are so close, so close. I want to do the nozzles. So we're probably going to do the nozzles because, I mean, right now, like it is, it, it feels like it has plenty torque. Like, <laughs> So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned.